just one of them. Okay, so we're going to do a little video on how we put together my GANS Health Balance patches that we're doing for a little research study. I'm going to send off 10 samples of to my friends and get some feedback on uses and effects and challenges and parameters. Okay, so that's just the, some of the labels that I've printed out to put on them, make them cute. Hi, I'm Heather. <laughs> this is my little video on how to make these things or how I'm making them. So what I've been doing is showing people the principle of making a sandwich. So here's the two pieces of bread, which are the two pieces of CO2 patches, okay? Just to give them the idea that what they're going to do when they put a patch on their body is to use two pieces of bread and then pick one of these to put in the middle, right? Either the copper oxide, the CH3, or the ocean GANs. So say I'm going to pick the lettuce, which is the copper oxide, put that in the middle between my two CO2 patches and then put that in a Ziploc bag and put that on my body. So you kind of make yourself a little sandwich, put it in the bag and then you can wrap it on your leg with an ace wrap or something like that. You can even make another sandwich and put it on the other side. And this way you can reuse them, right? You don't have to seal this little pack because you have some of these other ones, you can take that one out and use a CH3 for different purposes. You can use the Ocean Gans. Um, I think the jury's still out on the Ocean Gans. We don't really know about its uses. Maybe it would also be useful for the bread. Don't know that, but I'll be asking for input on that with people. So I'm gonna go through quickly how I'm making them. Take the bread away. I'm using the Food Saver vacuum sealing system not endorsing them just saying it works pretty darn well so it comes in a roll this one's eight inches which is about right to make two of them at a time so I cut off a piece of that to begin with and make it about five inches this direction fold it in half and then cut that in half and that's going to make two patches and then we have a piece of cloth that is, <clears throat> there's the sizing, about two and a half centimeters by three and three quarters inches, not centimeters, inches. And then we just slide the piece of cloth in the little sleeve that we'll make over there here in a second. And I just chose different colors to help me um, keep straight what is what, uh, especially when I'm talking to people. I got the orange for the CH3 the aqua colored for the copper, the off-white for the CO2, CO2 GANs, <laughs> and the, this is a test, and the, the blue one for the ocean GANs, because I tried at one point just to put the liquid in there, and it kind of all uh, distributes funny and gets stuck in one corner with the cloth in there. It absorbs it, and it lays down nicer like a patch. So now we'll take these over here oops no we'll take these over here now what we have is something that's open on three sides so we're going to seal that all right put these aside it's open on two sides so what i want to do is seal at least a couple of the sides so we can get the cloth in and put some of the liquid in there so after we do that then it's going to be sealed on uh at least two of the sides now and then we'll put it back in and we'll seal the third side okay that worked out well because now we have some that are partially done and turn that around now this is a hundred dollar model of this particular food saver um, it's called the game saver sport it cost ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents they do make um, this company does have one that is uh, $50 and other companies do too, but I found that those weren't near as useful with doing the bags. I wasted a lot of time and energy with bags that were leaking because they didn't make a very good seal. This one makes a nice wide seal that's very thorough. 
across there. The other ones were making a little skinny seal that was incomplete and leaked a lot. So this one is definitely useful for that. And it's quick and easy. So now we have a pouch that has three parts. We can put the little piece of cloth right in there. And then we'll take it over here to this little production where I put the GANs in there. Okay. So I'm making several kinds for my experiment. I'm trying some that have the actual GANs and some that just have uh, the GANs water from on top of the GANs. And I'll even have another set where the GANs was just charged in water that has had a vial charging the water on the out, you know, indirectly so that I can get some feedback on the efficacy of the different ones. Oh yeah, and got some fruit gans and veggie gans to try as well as the amino acids. So, lots of fun to play. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and make one that I'm going to consider at the moment the CH3 gans. Because this had about this much um, CH3 gans in the bottom. I filled it with distilled water and shook it up. And what I've been using is about 5 milliliters. In these little packets seems to be just about the right amount we'll give it a little squirt there we go turn that little five thing around there and bring it down to about five and then sit it over here because in a minute we're going to go ahead and seal it and I'll go ahead and make another one now it is important to keep this upper lip up here very dry because if you seal it with some wet drops on here it doesn't seal very well so I usually make sure that, that's one reason I use the baster instead of pouring stuff. That way I can put that way down in there and not get this all wet at the top. Because that seems to be important in the seal. And then we take it over here. Lay these along here. And I don't use the vacuum part of it, obviously. That would suck the stuff out and it doesn't matter if there's just a little air in there. Let's put those in there, maybe squeeze them just a bit. Latch them down and seal. And then we're done except for putting a label on them. <clears throat> that would be pretty quick. There they are. And then we have, you know, the ones that I made earlier with the, the copper. And we're going to make a set with all four kinds two different ways. So. I'm going to move this over right quick and just show some of them just say GANS water and that's all they are. It's just the wash water on top of the GANS. Some say uh, like CO GANS and there's some actual GANS in there. You can see the little um, particles of the GANS in there. And then there will be a third one that's going to be, I guess I'll call it charged water that don't, that are the ones that just have stay there. That, are, that just have the vial in the water and then I'll make the GANS packets out of this part of it here just to get some comparison on what's useful, how long they stay active and wait for the feedback on that. So it's just all in the, in the uh, fun of research, right? Okay, so play and Fun, make fun, comments fun. and give input and ask questions.